Hello guys, how are you? Okay, so today I'm going to work with SQLite in Python. I will show you how can we work with SQLite and this is my first video about SQLite. Many users have been asking about this video. So finally, I decided to release it. I promised someone that's why I'm releasing it today. Even I'm not well today, but due to my promise, I'm going to fulfill it. I hope this will help you all and you will appreciate my efforts okay so about SQLite you don't need to install any special software just install python module for SQLite so in pip3 install db-sqlite3 I already installed it you can see this right and uh, it's very easy to work with SQLite, you can use it in your small softwares, small applications. Okay, uh, now let me clear the screen and uh, I will create a directory name database. So I will create all my database files, all the tables in this directory. Okay. You can see this is the directory I created and this is empty directory see there is no file in database now I create a application app.py I use nano editor okay now here I will simply import SQL light 3 and I will create a connection sqlite3.connect mm, uh, database directory database okay and uh, I will call it <coughs> sorry customer.db customers.db okay this will be our database file which contains customer table I am going to create okay now I will uh, define the cursor con dot cursor okay and here I will create a simple table name customers create table customers ID and here I will use integer okay and uh, primary key okay one thing in SQLite I don't need to uh, define auto increment here I don't need this but in MySQL, I had to define it. In SQL, I don't uh, sorry, in SQLite, I don't need to define auto increment, it will be automatically there by default. Okay, and here I will create second column first name. I'm using Warchar. last name watcher 30 h and and date date time okay now i will execute this query so sql dot sorry cursor dot execute sql and i will call con dot commit here okay this commit function is very important to make changes in database sometime users uh, ignore this and they don't use this function then they complain that uh, their database is not changing 
okay con dot close now let's run the program python 3 dot py okay now, now let me show you in database directory there will be a database file so ls database you can see customers.db is there okay now let's uh, create some records in the customers table sorry app.py okay let me remove this and now here I will enter some records so hmm, SQL insert into customers first name last name age email and date okay values John Smith thirty email John at Smith dot com and in MySQL we were using now function but here in SQLite we will call date and here now okay now let's execute python 3 i've got five oh i think i missed a uh, email column so let's remove email and just work with first name last name age and date columns okay I missed this column. Okay. Right. Now let's see if we inserted the data to data uh, customer table. Okay. I will comment it out and simply SQL. I will use select static from customers. Okay, well, guys, this is my first video about SQLite. In this video, I'm just showing you basic CRUD operations like create, update, delete. Okay, and in my next video, I'm going to work with advanced interface. Okay, so don't miss uh, my next video as well and uh, watch this uh, entire video very carefully so you can better learn it. I don't need this commit function now because I am just selecting records, not changing in database. Okay. And here I will print cursor dot fetch all. This will print all the records from customer table. You can see I inserted this record and see it generated ID one okay now let me add another id then we will work with update and delete okay i commit this and i am adding another well uh, another record is called jack okay now I again need commit function because I am inserting another record. Okay. Now let me show you. We inserted second record. I comment this out. Okay. You can see now we have two records. So this is our uh, create function okay now I'm going to show you how can we do update okay so nano 
app.py here let's uh, update second record SQL here is our update query update customers set mm, age is equal to 99 well this will be too old person then but I am just showing you how can we update record in SQLite this is command line uh, program okay in next video I am going to show you advanced interface operations okay where id is equal to mm, 2 okay so this will uh, set this scores uh, record scores age from 35 to 99 and uh, i will need this uh, commit function because i am updating record and this execute obviously let's see okay it should be updated now let's select and comment this out and comment this commit and uncomment print uh, function for cursor dot fetch all i hope you are getting what i'm doing i'm doing my best to show you easiest way to work with sqlite okay i hope you will like this video don't forget to like my videos and subscribe my channel please okay guys you can see i updated this scores age from 35 to 99 you can see it's there right so we did create and update now i'm going to uh, show you how can we do delete function we will perform delete task now okay nano app.py okay hmm let me comment it out this one too and this too and i will need commit because i am changing in database okay now i will write query for delete delete from customers where id is equal to 2 i will delete this scores record the scores id is 2 ok and we will need execute yeah and commit ok let's print a message as well print. record deleted okay python3 app.py maybe this uh, video looks a little boring to you but trust me um this is the easiest way and uh, in next video you will enjoy that video because i'm going to show you um, advanced interface gui okay now let's check if the record has been deleted or not Actually, I'm not well today, but I'm just creating this video for you. Okay. I don't need commit now, and I comment this, uncomment this. Okay. Now let's run the program. Python three. I've got five. Okay guys, you can see the second record has been deleted. The Scott's record has been deleted. Now only John's record is there. Okay, I hope uh, you learned from this video. And uh, in next video, I will show you how can we perform uh, these uh, tasks from GUI. And I will create an, an advanced interface. And I will also create table and uh, work with this SQLite okay I will continue from here in this uh, sorry in next video so please stay tuned thank you guys
see you in next video goodbye